if I didn't stutter and I had a point, I would just say my point. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying my point because I believe it. I'm in a conversation with you. I've got a point to make and I'm going to, and I'm going to say my point. Mm -hmm. What gets in the way is that during me making the point, I get a stutter, I get a block. Mm -hmm. So if I give up mm -hmm. at that point, because my stutter has got in the way, then how much did I believe the point I was going to make? What, I, what mm. I'm now believing is my stutter is more important to listen to the pain my stutter is causing me and causing you than it is for me to make my point. Mm. Well, don't make your point then. In fact, mm. what's going to happen if that's true in your life is you're not going to say very much because mm. you might always stutter. Mm. So do you want a life of allowing your stutter to dominate your, your belief and your ability to speak? Or do you want your ability and belief to speak to dominate your stutter? Which way mm. around do you want it? Because you can't have it both ways. Well you, well, you can't have it both ways. You've got to choose. So to get through that, you need energy to do it. And, and belief is the energy that gets you through that. That's so powerful. That's such a good point. And there's so many things I could say about that. But I just want to emphasize like, like, yes, like in every interaction and in every time you go to speak there to kind of, to kind of, to kind of visualize what, what you said, I guess, is like, there's one side of to listen to the stutter and to hold back and not say what you want to say. And there's the other side of to say what you want to say. And this side is like fueled by your self built, your self built, your self belief of this is important to say. Yes. And if this is valued over avoiding the stutter, then you'll say that thing. Yes. Versus if you fear the stutter more and what you feel, what you don't have to say is worthy, yeah. then you'll hold back, then you won't speak. Or right. then you'll you'll let the stutter um, stop you from speaking. Exactly. And uh, there's there's so, so, so many routes that I'd like to go down with that. And I, I don't think I... I have the mental space to like weave <laughs> weave between them all, um, but that is such a such a huge 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 point. Just to reinforce that, like the goal is not to learn to not stutter. The goal is to learn to value what you say enough. So that your so that your stutter and the the fear in comparison to that is nothing is right. like you have so much value you you believe your words so much you 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 think your your words matter that if you stutter or not it's like that doesn't fucking that that doesn't matter absolutely and that's the belief it doesn't matter it doesn't matter. 